Well, let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one about uh, what to do with Baker Mayfield. I'm just curious about the urgency to do something with Baker Mayfield. Uh, it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of interest in uh, other teams trading for him. But why would the Cleveland Browns want to just cut him? Uh, they still have to pay him. Uh, wouldn't it make more sense to just keep him on the roster? Uh, worst case scenario, uh, our uh, two quarterbacks go down. At least we still have one in the pocket. But uh, clearly later on in the season, uh, some quarterback is going to go down and someone might, might need Baker. I don't see a reason to give him away for a sixth-round pick. Um, he doesn't even have to dress for our games. As long as uh, he's ours, he's ours. So I just don't understand why everybody's so anxious to get rid of him. All right. Uh, as always, appreciate um, the, the voicemails. And, and G. Bush, what are your thoughts on that? I, and I kind of went down that same road just in thinking, um, do you hold on to him until somebody gets hurt? The, the problem is that's a guy that clearly doesn't want to be here. Um, he would be your third quarterback um, because you can run the same system with Brissett as you run with Watson, which is one of the reasons I like that they went out and got Brissett. <clears throat> All right, I, I'll, I'll give everybody a reason why you just can't bring them back. First, first and foremost, it's eighteen million dollars, right? Eighteen million dollars is on the books, and and the Browns need that eighteen million. <laughs> they need that eighteen million to upgrade the rest of the roster at certain other positions. Uh, so they're not going to allocate that much money uh, to one position after you've given you know uh, Deshaun Watson his money. Second of all, have you ever had to be in a room? Uh, with your ex-girlfriend for long periods of time. It just doesn't seem to work out like that, let alone live with them. Uh, the locker room is a thing. It, it, he is not stepping foot back in that locker room. You got to think about it from a pride angle. I'm the first overall pick. I yep. just led you to the playoffs a couple years ago. I was hurt. You went and got the other guy who you said wanted to be leader, and you're going to force me to come back to the locker room and wave to all the guys who who are pretty much happy that I'm gone. It'll never happen. It, it, you know, the NFL is about relationships, and that's why I understood the relationship factor with Odell Beckham Jr. At the time, they chose Baker Mayfield over Odell Beckham Jr. That's why Odell Beckham Jr. had to go. You know, he they chose who they was going to ride with. We, we're going to ride with, with Baker. So OBJ had to go. Now, can you imagine if they're going to ride with Deshaun Watson and Baker Mayfield just sitting around? It, it, it'll, it'll be a, a nightmare. Baker would never agree to it. His agents would be wise never to agree to it. And it's just better that both both sides get a clean break, start over, and just, and just be able to move forward with, with a clean slate.